Good day, night time here. Second video for today. Hey, <laughs> you unfortunate people, you. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd do um, an in the news today sort of uh, segment here. So let's see what we have. I'm using my ISP's um, newsfeed. They usually usually has um, five or so news articles up, which changes every couple of hours or so. So we have Emerald Flood crisis due to Emerald Flood crisis dire as army moves in. Emerald is a suburb up in Queensland. Queensland's been having a uh, a bit of water problems of late, to say the least. Article number two: Tanker driver dies in Fury, New South Wales crash. That's unfortunate. Apparently, it was a tanker with a petrol tanker. With two tanks, uh, he managed to roll roll it about ten kilometres outside of a town, and the town was up near Tinnambar, about ten kilometres north of Balana. Balana. Hmm. About 100 firefighters were there to help control the blaze. Uh, some of the petrol or fuel has leaked into marshlands to put a um, a foam covering over the top to keep the reignition re down to a minimum. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Beckham gets tough over sex story. Who really cares? I'm not going to go much further into that one. Sweet tooth burglar eludes police. <laughs> Apparently, this has been there's this guy been going around breaking into stores and stealing. Ice creams, sweets, and so forth. It's absolutely amazing. Now, apparently, the police have been trying to catch him for since about the seventh of seventh uh, of December. So it's been on the run for around three weeks. And with all that sugar, I'd be on the run too. Couldn't stop me. All over the place. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Uh, Queensland Police spark global pedophile bust. Basically, um, some people have been abusing their children, filming the acts and sending them to each other in Queensland, United Kingdom. Uh, where else was it? In the US. Surprise, surprise. So all I can say is, good on you fellas, keep up the good work. Not the pedophiles, the police. Just so as you know, just so there's no confusion. <laughs> I'll put a, I'll put links underneath so you can see any photographs that come with the articles. You can read up more for yourself if you're interested. Yeah, going back to the Emerald Floods. What a disaster that is. Um. People have been evacuated, uh, houses have got water up to their windowsills. Uh, it's quite horrific, really. Uh, fortunately, there's a dam in the area. Let's have a look what was the dam's name again. Fairbarn Dam. It's holding back an immense body of water. It's now at 175% capacity, with 5.6 metres of water pouring over the spillway. That's a rather substantial amount of water. Um, consider the from the ground to the rock to the top of your house, the roof. In a typical Australian home, is about that tall, that much water, that distance of water up over the spillway. It's absolutely amazing. The scary thing is that I'm not sure. I'm not sure the size of the dam. I'm not sure how big it is, but I can just imagine it's big enough to hold back enough water that if the dam was to break, you can say bye bye to the houses. At the moment the houses are water damaged and water out but it's fairly slow moving so the houses themselves remain intact. If a dam breaks the initial rush of water will probably just wipe away at the houses and people say houses? What houses? There's no houses here. Hmm. On a lighter note, water restrictions in the area have been lifted. Bit of dark humour there. Sorry. 
<laughs> hmm. <laughs> if you if you're in the uh, Emerald area and see this, my apologies. I thought it was funny at the time. Hmm. Well, that's enough for me. You're probably bored. You're probably as bored as I am if you're watching this. So if so, shoo, go do something more exciting like prepare for New Year's Day or New Year's New Year's Eve celebrations. Currently 8:30 p.m. here, so it'll be New Year's Day soon. <laughs> so I'll see you next year. Cheers.